So to start off talking about trimming, I want to just go over the basics of what trimming is. In, in fact, in Final Cut Pro X, trimming is going to be so intuitive that you'll be doing it all the time without even realizing you're doing it, which is really nice. In, uh, I've already covered this briefly in a couple different cases, so I'm, I'm not going to spend much time on it right now. But just to go over the fundamental ideas, there are three ways to modify and edit. Nice. No, I had, I had a great time. Surprisingly. All right, so we've got a little edit there, a little mistake that needs to be fixed. And this is exactly the case where you would do some trimming. You need to choose how to fix this edit, though. And if, again, if I play that over here, she says the word surprisingly. surprisingly. We hear the word surprisingly twice, both in the outgoing clip, that's the outgoing clip, and in the incoming clip over here. Now, you could fix this in one of two ways. You could either shorten the outgoing clip or shorten the incoming clip, right? Either way could fix the problem. We just need to make sure there isn't the overlapping word there. Now, it may be in some situations that fixing one or the other will work and you can't do both, but just to cover the, the most simple ideas here, all we're talking about doing is removing some frames from the end of this clip or from the beginning of this clip. And you see, while I do this, it's pretty much just happening very quickly and easily. I just click on the edge of the edit, and you see that that yellow highlight shows you what's selected, and the, the curvature of it and the angle of it shows you which clip is selected. Right now, I've got the end of the outgoing clip there selected, and if I drag to the left, I'm shortening the clip. If I drag to the right, I'm lengthening the clip. Same thing on the other side. If I click, select the in point of the incoming clip there, I drag to the left to make it longer. I drag to the right to make it shorter. And um, all of this, what I'm doing, is what used to be called rippling. It still is called rippling, but now it's so automatic we don't even bother to identify it. This is a fundamental way to improve your edits. The important thing to understand, though, is that it is keeping all the rest of the clips in the project in time. So, in fact, if I go earlier to a section where we've got a lot more going on in here, you see, as I make changes, all the rest of the clips in the project are moving along with my clip. And that's why it's called rippling, because all the, the change I'm making here is rippling through the whole sequence. If I move three frames here, every clip is moved by those three frames. The change is effectively rippled through your project. But again, you, you almost can forget all about that now, because really all you're thinking about is shortening or lengthening the beginning or end of one of your clips. Now, in order to trim effectively, you have to know what you're trying to do. So in this case, there's a couple different options we have. One thing I recommend is you play the clip. I had, I had a great time. And uh, let's actually, I'm going to make it a little bit worse just so we can see the, the problem more clearly. Surprisingly. And I'm going to stop the playhead right after she says the word surprisingly. And I'm going to drag the right edge of the outgoing clip there until it lines up with the playhead. Just like that. And then I'm going to play forward until just after she finishes saying surprisingly. And in fact, I can see it in the audio waveform right there, that little blue thing there. Uh, and I'm going to click the left edge of the incoming clip put my playhead back where it's supposed to go and drag this side now to close up where she said surprisingly. Now this can be made even easier if you use snapping. So if I turn on snapping by clicking the snapping button or pressing N, now as I trim, it snaps right to the playhead. So it's really easy to use your playhead as your sync point. And that's a really, really good idea if you're trying to trim effectively. Play the clip to where you want the edit to move, grab the edge and drag it to snap right to that playhead. And you can be sure you're going to get exactly the edit you want. And now I have effectively fixed the edit. Terrible choice. No, I had, I had a great time, surprisingly. Come on. You of course, we're not done. We're going to still need to finesse the edit to make it the best it can be. But that's a good starting point. You may also find that you can use skimming to decide where to trim your edit to. Use your skimmer instead of the playhead, find the location, and drag the edit right to that spot. 